Hey everyone, welcome back to the McBrowser channel. Today, I'm bringing you something truly special. We're diving into the world of luxury history and craftsmanship, Waterford Crystal. If you're like me and love learning about how iconic products are made, you're going to love this one. We're heading to Waterford Island to take a closer look at the Waterford Crystal Factory and discover the artistry that goes into each stunning piece of crystal. Let's get into it. Before we step into the factory itself, let's talk a bit about the history of Waterford Crystal, because this company has been around for centuries. It was founded way back in 1783 by George and William Penrose in the city of Waterford, Ireland. From day one, Waterford Crystal set itself apart by creating glass of such high clarity and quality that it quickly became known worldwide. Over the centuries, the brand has had ups and downs, even closing for a period in the 1850s, but it was revived in the mid-20th century and has been going strong ever since. Today, Waterford Crystal is synonymous with luxury, elegance and craftsmanship. And fun fact, Waterford Crystal has crafted some of the most famous crystal pieces in the world, including the Times Square New Year's Eve Ball in New York and the chandeliers in Westminster Abbey. Talk about a legacy, right? Alright, now let's fast forward to the present day and head into the Waterford Crystal Factory. When you first walk in, you're immediately greeted by towering displays of crystal pieces, from intricate chandeliers to sparkling vases and tableware. It's like stepping into a gallery of glass. But the real magic happens behind the scenes, in the workshop. This is where the master craftsmen of Waterford Crystal do their thing. On the factory tour, you get to see the process up close, and let me tell you, it's jaw-dropping. We start at the blowing room. This is the first step in the crystal making process, where artisans use long metal blowpipes to gather molten crystal from the furnace, which burns at over 1,400 degrees Celsius. Watching them shape this glowing molten material into perfect forms, using just their breath and some wooden molds, is like watching an art form that's barely changed in hundreds of years. Once the basic shape of the crystal is formed, it's off to the cutting room. And this is where things get even more fascinating. Waterford's master cutters are trained for at least eight years before they're considered experts. Yes, eight years. The skill involved in cutting crystal is mind-blowing. The cutters work with precision tools to create the iconic patterns that make Waterford crystal instantly recognizable. Those sharp lines, 
delicate crosshatches and intricate detailing that catch the light in such a mesmerizing way. On the tour, you can watch these artisans work right in front of you. They cut each piece entirely by hand, using large spinning wheels with diamond-tipped edges. It's almost hypnotic to watch the sparks fly as they carve perfect patterns into the crystal. And the patience. Every cut has to be exact, or the whole piece is ruined. It's that level of precision and care that makes each Waterford piece truly one of a kind. Now let's talk about engraving. This is where artistry and personalization come together. Waterford Crystal doesn't just make mass-produced pieces. Many of their items are custom-made, especially for high-profile events or individuals. During the factory tour, you can see the engravers adding personal touches to crystal pieces, whether it's names, dates, or intricate designs. Waterford has engraved gifts for heads of state, trophies for major sporting events, and even custom orders for celebrities. The engravers work with such fine precision, often using a small handheld tool to etch out intricate details. It's this level of craftsmanship that makes Waterford pieces so highly valued, not just as functional items but as treasured pieces of art. What really sets Waterford apart is their dedication to preserving traditional techniques. As I mentioned earlier, the craftsmen go through years of training to master their art. And it's not just one skill, they have to learn everything from blowing and cutting to engraving and polishing. This isn't something you can learn in a few weeks. The factory is full of multi-generational craftsmen, with some families having worked at Waterford for over a hundred years. There's a real sense of pride and tradition in the factory. It's not just about making crystal, it's about passing down the knowledge from one generation to the next, keeping the art alive. After seeing how everything is made, the tour ends in the showroom, where you can see the finished pieces in all their glory. And honestly, it's breathtaking. Chandeliers that could light up a ballroom, glittering goblets and massive vases that catch the light in ways you wouldn't believe. Every item tells a story, from the design inspiration to the craftsmanship behind it. And if you're looking to take home a piece of history, the showroom is the perfect place to do a little shopping. Waterford offers a range of pieces, from smaller, more affordable items to larger statement pieces, each crafted with the same level of care and precision. So, why does Waterford Crystal still matter in today's world of mass production? Well, in an age where so much is made quickly and cheaply, Waterford represents the opposite. It's all about craftsmanship, tradition and quality. Each piece of Waterford Crystal is made by hand, using centuries-old techniques that have stood the test of time. Waterford isn't just glass, it's a piece of art, a piece of history, and something that can be passed down through generations. It's the kind of thing that people treasure, whether they're using it for special occasions or just as a display piece. It's a reminder of the value of slow, careful craftsmanship in a fast-paced world. So that's a glimpse into the world of Waterford Crystal and the incredible factory tour experience. If you ever find yourself in Waterford Island, I highly recommend checking it out for yourself. Seeing the craftsmanship and dedication that goes into each piece really gives you a new appreciation for this iconic brand. Let me know in the comments what you found most fascinating. Was it the cutting, the engraving, or maybe the rich history behind it all? And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed today's tour. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.